Hi guys! I'm super excited for today's video because it is a beautiful day. So I hope everyone's doing dandy at home or wherever you're watching this, but it is a beautiful day here. So I thought it'd be really fun to go over my Colette collection because it is getting very big. It is almost summer, so they are doing really well. So I thought this would be the best time to show you guys all of my plants. I am definitely a beginner. I <laughs> might be doing some things wrong, but I'm learning as I go. I am researching a ton about all these plants and trying to give them the best life. I will recommend some plants that I think are great for beginners if you guys are beginners like myself and which ones have been easy to take care of. But overall, I'm just gonna share with you all my plants and tell you my favorites, tell you which ones I hate. Yes, because there are some children here that I do not like. I guess I don't hate, but they're not my favorite child. Let's just say that. Let's jump in. Let's start with my big plants back here. So we're gonna start here with my birds of paradise and she, she is thriving. She just put out this leaf back here a week ago and she put out this one like two weeks ago. So I'm very happy with her. She is doing well in this spot. So she is not moving. She is growing big and hopefully one day she'll be way bigger than me. Like that's the goal. This next one here is my favorite plant and this is a Monstera Deliciosa and she has honestly done so well since I've gotten her. She has put out majority of these leaves. She used to be a lot smaller so this is why I love this plant just because the leaves are so beautiful and they grow so fast. So this one right here is a new one I just recently purchased and it's fiddle leaf fig and she is doing well. She even put out a new leaf since I've gotten her over a week ago and this one is pretty small they're supposed to grow to be like big trees so hopefully you know one day like 50 years down the line she'll be a big nice tree so this is another new plant of mine this is alocasia and they're supposed to be very difficult to take care of and i don't think they do well in the winter so not sure how she's going to do in the winter time but for right now she is thriving she is honestly doing great she has a new leaf coming out here which just makes me so happy so i love this one i think her nickname is supposed to be like an elephant ear just because these leaves are ginormous like they are amazing so that's one of the reasons why i got her and she was on sale at the home depot for 20 bucks and then my last one on the wall is small enough I can pick up here and she is a calithia she has these beautiful leaves which is the reason why I picked her at the nursery a few weeks ago and I didn't really put much research into her because I didn't really know about this plant prior to buying it but then after researching more I think she's gonna be a troubled one I think she's gonna be very picky very stubborn and cause me a lot of headaches but I'm willing to put the extra effort in for her because she's pretty. And then over here, we have this beautiful spider plant here. And honestly, I have three of these. I have three spider plants and I wasn't really planning to get a third spider plant. This is my third one I purchased. But I saw her at the nursery once again and she was like this big. And she was only $25. So I don't know if the price got me or I just, you know, I just thought she was so pretty I had to get her, but she ended up here. She ended up here somehow and she's in my living room and she takes up like half my living room because she's so dang big, but I love spider plants. They're honestly so pretty. They're easy to take care of. They're beautiful. They have so many leaves, just all the above. And they also spit out a ton of these, whoops, baby plants here. So you can probably get them and make more plants with them. And then on my coffee table here, I have two plants sitting here. So I have this Pelia that I asked everyone on Instagram what their favorite plants were and Pelia came up a lot. So I decided I wanted one too. So I bought her at Walmart for like six bucks. And then beside her, we have Harold. This is Harold. You guys helped me name him on Instagram. It was either between that and Frank and Harold won. So meet Harold, Harold meet everyone that's watching the video. And he is actually a curly spider plant. I don't know the actual name of it. I'm just calling him a curly spider plant because he's a spider plant and he's the curly version of it. So this is Harold. Next. So this corner of my living room is Benson's area. Benson's bed here because he loves the sun and also all these plants love the sun too. So this is my sunny area of my living room, the only area in my whole apartment that actually gets direct sun. So. This is for all the very needy plants. See, he loves the sun. So that's why this area is designated for needy dogs and needy plants. 
So first plant in the needy area is this Monstera Deliciosa, which I already have. I have three of them. So this one is definitely not a needy one, but it's one I just put there because I'm hoping she will grow super, super big if she's in a lot of light. And usually Monstera Deliciosas can handle pretty much anything from low light to like high indirect light. So she's on the floor here in indirect light, not in the sun. And then beside her, we have this banana leaf plant, which is amazing. She has been thriving. She honestly grows so much. Like it's incredible how much she's grown. Like she was half the size of this like a month ago and she's been putting out leaves like every single week and they're ginormous. So this one's a very fun one to watch and grow. She's thriving, she loves the sun, but also needs to be watered like every other day. We have this jade here, and I gotta admit, she's not really my favorite one. She hasn't really done much, but it was also my fault because I had her in indirect light. And now I'm starting to realize, you know, after months of having her, that she likes lots of light. So this one's okay. Not my favorite plant. Not the worst plant. She's just, she's okay. This one's a succulent. Usually I'm not so attracted to succulents. I usually just like more like, you know, the luscious big plants, but she is one of the succulents I have and she's been doing good. She loves the sun. She doesn't really need water very often. And she's like a good low maintenance one that, you know, she's just kicking. Next, I have a little cutting from a spider plant. She's a little baby one and I'm trying to get her to grow some roots. She has some popping out, but I just have her in this little this jar and yeah. I'm trying to make more plants right now. Also trying to propagate this monstera leaf, which fell off, so I'm trying to save her, but I don't think I'm doing it right, so I need more research with this one. This one is definitely my least favorite plant. I don't even know what she is. This is the name of it, I'll look at it after, but she does nothing. She doesn't grow, she doesn't do anything. She just, is. she's boring. She's, I don't know what to do with her. Probably just need to research her because I'm probably not giving her the right light or something, and it's probably a me problem, not a you problem, to be honest. And this is my last Monstera Deliciosa because I love them so much, and Tim actually got me this one when I had 100K subscribers on YouTube, and she was a lot smaller then, and she is thriving. She honestly was not looking too hot when I first got her because someone went off and just cut all her leaves off. So she had a whole bunch of the, these stems that were just trimmed. So she's done well since. She's grown a lot of leaves and I think she's starting to thrive. Also, this is not in direct sunlight. She's just on the floor somewhere over here. And then above my banana leaf plant, I have two plants here. So this one's actually a cutting where I propagated from another pothos. So I have a few pothos in the other room. So this one is doing so well. She was just a few stems. Like she was like these little baby leaves of four. So she is thriving here. And then beside her, we have this evergreen and I love Chinese evergreens, even though um, I by accident ripped this leaf out a little bit and she's slowly dying, but I'll have to trim her off. But yeah, this is a Chinese evergreen and I love her because she has this pink in her. I have a big version, but she's not pink. Now for my oldest plant, which I got her three years ago and three years ago I knew nothing about plants. So this just goes to show how well pothos are for beginners because I knew nothing, probably overwatered her, underwatered her, put her in conditions that were not very good and she's doing amazing. She's doing amazing. She probably needs to be cut and try to be propagated so she's more full at the top here, but definitely recommend Pothos for all you beginners out there. She was my first plant, she's still alive. Recommend this little girl, or big girl technically. So now we are in my office and this is the first plant I'm gonna show you, my Chinese evergreen here. And if you guys watched my videos in the past, you have definitely seen her in the back of my videos and she is one of my favorite plants because she's beautiful, one, she's low maintenance, and three, she grows a ton. She is constantly putting out new leaves, so I love you. You're not my favorite, but you're my second favorite. Definitely recommend getting one of these if you guys are a beginner. So I am constantly moving my plants around in my room, but this is the one I have on my desk right now. It is a pothos, so another one super, super easy to take care of. I love this one because she is very full. She's like a bush. And most of my pothos are very stringy and they're not like a bush. And then the rest of my plants are either on my windowsill right here or they are right up here. So the first one I have on my windowsill is this beautiful pink one, which not even gonna lie, 
I forgot the name of her. Got it! Pink rubber plant. She's a rubber plant. I totally forgot that. This is a pink rubber plant or a ruby something. I don't know. She's from Walmart. She was $6.95 and she was she was very cute. And I hadn't got a plant for a few weeks, so I picked her up like two days ago. And Tim doesn't know. He told me not to buy any more plants, but I just snuck her in on my grocery shopping, so she's doing well. She's doing well. Next, I have this pothos here, but again, I've already showed you so many pothos, so put you back. Next, I have a Brazil philodendron, and she's a little brown because I started to put a whole bunch of cinnamon on all my plants because I was gonna get rid of the gnats. So I think it's helped, but I haven't cleaned off all the leaves yet. She's a pretty one. I gotta repot her into another one because I don't think she's doing super well in this pot, so one I'm, I'm working on. Next, I have another spider plant. This is, this is one of four. And then on my shelf, I have this pothos. You can tell I really like pothos because they're so easy to take care of and I love how long she's getting. Like she's growing really, really big. So I'm very proud of you. You're doing well, sweetie. And lastly, we have another spider plant. This one's pretty big and this one hangs in my room above my camera. And this is one usually that distracts me because she has so many babies coming out here and I just get so excited when I see all the babies getting bigger and just how many she has here because that means I can make that many or a plant technically that many more babies so I could have that many more spider plants so I'm proud of you I'm proud of you mama you're making a lot of babies for me well that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed looking at my plant collection today it's definitely getting bigger and I'm hoping it will get bigger and bigger and bigger in the future until my whole house is 100% plants, but um, as right now, it's like 25% plants, so I'm still working on getting it up there, but I'm really happy with everything. This is definitely a huge hobby of mine of just having a ton of plants and researching it and just going to plant stores and nurseries and going to Walmart, grocery shopping and buying plants is really, really exciting for me. So I hope some of you share that same passion of, you know, taking care of your plants. Or if you're new and you're wanting to get some plants, I hope I showed you some plants that are kind of easy to take care of. I'm no expert, but this is going to show that there's some easy plants out there that that anyone can have so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any recommendations of what plants I should get next comment them down below and then I'll be sure to buy them but that's it so I hope you guys have a great your day if you guys want to see another updated plant tour in the future let me know if you guys enjoyed this but that is it so have a great rest of your day water your plants give them lots of love take care of them and um, take care of yourself always take care of yourself so I'll see you guys next time bye